Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with Jaeger Film. In this quick informal 360 tutorial, I want to show you guys how you can do this window fly through transition in 360. I get quite a few questions about this, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you kind of what that looks like. You can see here I have some 360 footage from atop a Jeep, and as it kind of flies through, we can see the transition box occurring there. You can kind of see how this is coming across the screen, and it's almost as if we kind of go through that window, and then now we're into our other 360 shot. I get quite a few questions on how to do this particular effect because it's actually a matte transition. It's pretty easy to do once you figure out the concept of it. It just takes a few steps to set up properly where you kind of get this seamless fly through. But you can use any shape. I'm just using kind of a 16 by 9 window here because that's what I usually see and that's what a lot of people usually ask about. But you could use any shape like a star or any other like logo shape you wanted to use. And you could set that up the same way I'm going to set this up here today. One other thing I want to mention before we get started is I've included a link in the description of this video where you can download the After Effects project file I'm going to create today and a LumaMat transition for this window fly through that you can also use with any of your 360 work. So let's go ahead and get started making this transition. I'm going to come up here and create a new composition. And I want this composition to be the same size as whatever footage I'm going to be working with. In my case here it's 4096 by 2048 and that same frame rate. And I'm going to go ahead and make this and call it Transition. And just come down here and click OK. Now again, this is going to be based off like a Luma Matte Transition. So basically I'm going to create white and black shapes. And then I'll map certain video footage to each of those colors. And so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to right click here. And I'm just going to go to New Solid. And I'm going to call this my background. I'll call it BG1 because we will have multiples. And I want this to be the same size as the composition. And just so we can see this, I'm going to make this totally white. Make sure you get all the way up to the top there and click OK. And then click OK. So we have this white background. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. Right click, do another solid. And this is going to be the actual 16 by 9 window. And if you're going to use a shape or something like that, you can substitute that in for this. And I'm just going to call this window. And I'll actually title it window 1 because we will use multiples. And then for the width on this, I'm going to make it be 1920, and then the height be 1080. And I want the color of this to actually be completely black, so we'll go all the way down here to that bottom corner, and click OK, and then OK. So now you can see there's our window box here on our footage. So what we want to do to animate this, we're going to use the VR plane to sphere effect. So I'm going to come here to effects and presets, I'm just going to type in VR. Then under the immersive video effects, we're going to see the VR plane to sphere. I'm just going to apply that directly to the window layer. And now we can kind of see it's looking more like it's mapped to 360. And now you're going to get the basic concept of this really quickly here because all we're going to be doing is we're going to be animating the scale property. And we need to do this for each half of the video so we actually fly through the window. Now before I actually do that, one thing I do want to do is with the feather, if I zoom in here all the way at full resolution, you'll see we have a little feather on this for the edge of our window. And you can set this all the way down to zero. If you get a little bit of harsh edges, or kind of like some aliasing on the edge, just go ahead and set this to be something like one, and that'll help alleviate that quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, again, animate the scale. So I'm right here at the very beginning of my clip. I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit, because I want this to be a, probably about a four second total transition. So we'll come out here to the two second mark here when I keyframe this. So I'm gonna pull the scale down all the way to zero. You can see if I bring this all the way up, it's gonna come up it's going to completely fill up half of our 360 video. So this is right at the point where we're actually going through the window. And it's interesting though as well, whatever shape you use, no matter what it is, when it gets to be 180 degrees, it's going to look exactly like this because it's filling up 50% of the total 360 sphere. So again, I'm going to bring this all the way back down to zero and I'm going to create a keyframe here for scale. Let's just move down here to the two second mark. So I'll just line that up right on two seconds. And we're going to bring this all the way up now to be 180. So if I go ahead and scroll through this, we're going to see that animation come through. So the window appears and then it crests right there at the two second mark right where we're about to go through it. So what we need to do here to kind of make the fly through complete is now we need to create a duplicate copy of the window in the background, but invert the colors and basically reverse the animation. And that'll simulate the fly through. And this is where it can get a little bit confusing because of the steps that are involved, but it is pretty simple. Just make sure you follow along with each of these other steps as we move forward. So I want to go ahead and create another background. So I'm just going to right click here and go to New Solid. And we want this to be Comp Size, so I'll select that. We're going to call this BG2. 
And because our first one was white, we want this one to be completely black again. So go all the way down here to the bottom corner, click OK and OK. And I'm gonna move this over now. I'm gonna hold Shift and it'll snap right there to my current time indicator right at two seconds. And we can go ahead and select the color tag here. I wanna change this to be something different just so it's easy for us to see. So I'll make this be yellow. That's just so we can visually get a reference on which is which. Now I'm gonna create another solid for that window. I'm gonna right click here, go to new solid. And we'll call this window two. And we'll make the width again be 1920 and the height be 1080. And we want the color of this to be inverted now. So we want this to be completely white and click okay and okay. Now conversely, you could duplicate your previous ones you created, but I just wanted to kind of show this so people could follow along a little bit easier. So again, I wanna move this window layer over and I'm gonna hold shift and just snap it to the current time indicator right there. And again, I'll change the tag color of this one to be yellow just so we can kind of tell the difference. So let's go ahead and just scroll through this so we can see kind of what's happening. So we have the original animation and then right here at two seconds, we can see our two new layers. So we essentially want to match what we currently see right here I'll just zoom in here just so we can see this and hit page down. So now we're right above those two layers. I actually want to move both of those directly over the two second mark there. So we want to make these look exactly like these first two, basically where it meets in the middle. And it's pretty simple to do. What we're going to do is I'm going to select the window layer. Again, apply VR plane to sphere. I'm going to come up here and make sure the feather is exactly the same at one. And I'm going to go over here to scale. I'm going to bring it all the way up to 180 degrees. And right now it's kind of the inverse of what we created before, but it's fairly simple to do. All we need to do to get this to look identical to the one we had before over here is we just need to come over here to the rotate projection and now set the pan to be 180. That's gonna move that over. So now you can kind of see what's happened here. If I go ahead and scroll through this, we get to that two second mark and now it looks identical and just stopped. So what we want to do now in our window two layer is create a keyframe for the scale there right at two seconds. Let's just move down here all the way to four seconds and we're going to pull this all the way down to zero. And now if I go ahead and just preview this back, we're going to see that complete animation like we're actually flying through. So you can see the window appears and now we've flown through it and it goes seamlessly all the way through. And that's basically the concept of this animation and we're going to luma mat this onto our footage. Now, if I go ahead and select my clip there and hit U on the keyboard, we can see we have these keyframes. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and maybe hit F9 on one of these and maybe do the same thing for the previous clip and just add kind of some smoothing in here. And then you could fine tune that again as well if you wanted to, if you want to come over here to the uh, graph editor and you could animate those and really get some smooth kind of animations going through there if you wanted to. But again, I just kind of want to show you the basic concept of this. Now let's come over here to this demo composition I've got. I'm gonna show you how you can actually set this up between two clips. So again, I've got two clips here, one of the Jeep and one of this zip line shot. You can see it's just a sharp cut. But if I wanted to do that window transition, what I would do is come over to my project. I'm gonna select that transition composition, drag that into my demo comp, and I wanna line that up right here with that second clip. So now we can kind of see what this looks like. We go into the transition. So now on this second clip underneath the transition, over here you're gonna see track mat. If you don't see that, press F4 on your keyboard and that will toggle the switches there and you should see track mat. And when I select this, you're gonna get alpha mat, alpha mat inverted, luma mat, and luma mat inverted, which is just off the screen here, but I'm gonna select luma mat inverted. And now with that selected, we will see that now this is gonna map properly onto our footage. You can see the window up here is gonna actually fly through it. So you get kind of that fly through effect on your footage. Now I'll also show you how you can do this in Premiere Pro. So if you wanted to go ahead and just render out this transition and just have this footage that we could reuse it multiple times, that's actually what I recommend doing. If we come up here to Premiere Pro, now inside of Premiere Pro, I've got two clips lined up again here, exactly the same like I did in After Effects. So I'm just gonna bring over this rendered shot I've got of that transition and apply it above the second clip. So you can see if I scroll through this, you can see what we see over here on our screen. And so what we need to do now is we need to apply an effect to the second clip, which is called track mat key. So I'm just gonna drag that over to my second clip. I'm gonna apply that. And we come over here under the effects controls, you're gonna see track mat key. And we need to select the mat layer. And our transition is on video track three. So come over here on that second clip we apply the effect to. And you wanna select video track three. It's a little bit more confusing to do this in Premiere Pro than it is After Effects, but it does work the same way. 
And for compositing, we're going to select Luma, Matt Luma. So if I go ahead and scroll through this, we're going to see something kind of interesting here. You can see we see the Jeep shot. And it actually jump cuts to the zip line and the window comes through, but it's kind of, you know, it's backwards from what we originally wanted. And when this happens, all you need to do is check this here, reverse. And that's just going to invert that and now it'll look correct. We have the Jeep shot and then it flies through to the zip line shot. All right, guys, hopefully that explained how you can kind of do these window fly through transitions in 360. Again, it's been Charles Jaeger with Jaeger Film. Thanks for watching.